Hey everyone, Denise here. It is Friday and uh, there are some, I saw some videos posted on the pop-up group. I will be there um, later this afternoon to make some comments and observations. Wanted to give everybody a chance to make their own comments and observations. It's important that you kind of start to take what you've learned and see if you can apply it. There's no harm in doing that. It's a safe group. And that's why we're, um, that's just why I'm giving you, giving you a little bit of time to do that. Um, so I typed in the, hey uh, yeah, everybody, um, one like small consistent steps will lead to the biggest change. And if anything that this coronavirus um, has shown, there's a lot of, and I'm not trying to um, minimize the seriousness of the situation whatsoever, but I have found it very interesting that at least from my perspective and my lens, there are a lot of um, positive takeaways. And last week I talked about Look, like we need to look at the positive things that we can do while we're um, while restaurants aren't open, while bars aren't open, and movie theaters and all those things we're usually doing, um, and that we have to stay home more and be together more and all that sort of stuff. Um, to focus on the positive <laughs> and focusing on the positive with your dog, and even with all the struggles you're having, you know they're not aggressive 100 percent of the time. There's a there's a big chunk of time when when they're not. And that's really, um, except for Gio being past right now, um, really what I want you to focus on. Focus on the positive things your dog is doing. Focus on the positive things your dog can do and focus on the positive things that you can teach your dog. And then today, um, you know, the small consistent steps are what is going to make the biggest impact for your dog. Now, I'm not sure I can draw a parallel of, to that with um, what we're all dealing with with the coronavirus. But, you know, when uh, Amy and I go to the gym, we always do a little bit of extra after the group workout. And um, we have some fitness goals. You know, I'd like to be able to do a couple of strict chin-ups, for example. And that's not going to happen now. While I'm not there. But and so the little, the five minutes extra that I put in at the end of the time is getting me to my goals slowly. Um, when I, I've run seven marathons in my life and did my first one when I was 40 and it's, you know, it's literally one step in front of the other and it is literally a little further each time, a little further each time. Like you just don't walk out your door and run a marathon and and for a lot of you, you're not going to walk out your door and just take your dog downtown for a walk because they're going to go crazy. Uh, for some of it, some of you, you just can't have all your friends come over because your dogs bark and growl and uh, and you're worried about them biting somebody. You're going to have to take it in small bits, one step at a time. And yes, it's okay to think about the bigger picture, the ultimate goal, but you need to be able to break that down into small pieces. Um, and in the course, the 60 days to your dream dog, ditch the aggression, not your dog. That is exactly part of what we will help you do is see those small steps, see the positive things that uh, you can do with your dog and help you start to shift your brain instead of saying, oh God, that was a failure and this was a failure. You can start to say, oh, wait a minute. Like, no, we we can't go for that walk downtown, but here are all the things that we can do. So at this time, I want to, um, I really want you guys to start to focus on the positive things you can do with your dog and breaking things down into smaller, 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 very bite-sized pieces. Um, it's a good thing in life. It's a good thing in dog training for sure. And, you know, the course is dripped out one module a week. So I know sometimes we all feel like we're way too busy and we can't possibly take on something else, which is one reason that we drip it out. I don't want anybody getting overwhelmed or getting too far ahead. 
But also, I think that with more people being stuck at home, what better time than to start working on your dog's aggressive issues and join us in the course? It's, you know, 30 minutes a day. Maybe it's that long to, um, you know, look at the videos, do the worksheets. And then um, every couple of weeks, we do a live coaching call. And what that means is if you guys were on the Zoom calls, um, there was no audio or video for you guys in that format. But in the course, the 60 Days to Your Dream Dog course, um, it's everybody's on video if you want to be. If you don't, you can turn off your video. I give you permission to have it on. You can turn it off if you want to be. Um, and uh, audio is off until you need to ask questions. And then we can we can ask questions back and forth in really t- in real time. It's a super supportive group of people. I I, of course, I'm an extrovert and I love teaching and I love doing the online course because not only do you get to hear my feedback, but you also get to hear everybody else's feedback. You get to hear everybody else's wins, everybody else's struggles. Um, You're not alone anymore. You're not trying to figure out this maze of behaviors and aggression and and what family members are saying, whatever, you're not in it alone anymore. We are there to help you. I mean, I are there to help you as well as everybody else on the course. Um, And so those, those group coaching calls are super, super beneficial. And as I mentioned, and if you've looked at the um, sales page, which is in the, um, you should all have it in various places, but I will put it here while I'm talking about it. Um, If you're one of the first five people, I think we still have some spots left that signs up. Then you get a, um, you get, it's basically an initial consult with me. We do it on Zoom. We look at video. I help you sort of plot out a strategic plan, a behavior and training plan for your dog. But that's a, that's a, in the, in the thick of things, you and I, nobody else is on that call. And we start talking about your dog and what, what we can do um, and how to best help your dog through whatever situation that you're in. So there are a lot of other bonuses um, involved in the course. You can take a look at that page and check them out. Uh, If anybody has any um, questions, hey, Kristen, hey, Julie. I think my dog is more fearful than aggressive, but I'm afraid it will turn into aggression. Hey, Kathy. Um, Yeah, Kathy, so I think I just, uh, before I started, uh, you asked to get in. I have you in the course, in the class, in the pop-up Facebook group, wherever I am right now. And um, you should be sure to go back and look at the um, four master class, free master class dog regression videos. They were all recorded. They're all on the lobby page. They are also in the Facebook group, but they're kind of scattered throughout. So your lobby page would be your best bet so that you can review those and see those. Almost all aggression is based in fear. And not all fearful dogs will become aggressive, but fearful dogs are at greater risk to become aggressive. I will also tell you, in case you guys have not realized that sort of through what people have been sharing in the pop-up group, is that aggressive dogs are also at risk for a lot of painful adversives. Shock collars and prong collars uh, are the top two. Um, Because you're you're really, you're desperate to get help. You're desperate to change your your dog's behavior. you're embarrassed, you're frustrated, you're confused, and we all just want it to stop. Like, I get that. Um, And so what happens is it puts really the dogs at risk for these other methods because there are other trainers that will certainly use those and they think that, you know, dominating and stop, 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 stop is, uh, is the way to go. And as you know, now that you've been through the course, there is a lot of risk in doing that. Um, And there's a great risk in making everything a lot worse. So just to be clear that it's not anything that, uh, (laughs) it's not anything that we use uh, in our one-on-ones with our clients that we see one-on-one in person and it's nothing that we recommend through the course. But uh, just again, I just wanted to give you the highlights on the course. I wanted to answer any questions you might have about the course. We're super excited to get started on that um, next week and and for nine weeks after that. There are video lessons that, so the whole course you have access to forever and ever. 
that won't be taken away from you. Um, you will, uh, there are each course, each module in the course has video lessons that you can review. There are um, sh very short worksheets to sort of get you thinking a little bit, right? Because there's listening and watching a video, then there's writing things down, and then there's getting on the coaching calls and talking things out, where we're sort of trying, we are activating all the different parts of learning and all the different parts of your brain. So you really can start to incorporate this information and, and use it to be the most helpful um, for your for you and your dog. So there's uh, those video lessons and worksheets. Uh, part of the bonus is you will receive a book from us. Um, and uh, I don't have it all in front of me. If you're one of the first five pay in full people, um, then you will get a individual one-on-one -on -one call with me about an hour and a half, two hours, goes as long as it really needs to. Um, we are gonna take a really start peeling away those layers of your dog's behaviors and the issues and how we can address that. I like to do that really early into the um, the course so that I can be helping you and guiding you throughout the nine modules of the course. So it's basically a nine week course. Um, if we do that in the middle, then you know we've still got time, but I prefer to do those right at the beginning. So those five people have some specifics from me that we will be working on and talking about during um, the, the course. Um, last time we, uh, we had an extra bonus that was not posted anywhere. We had, uh, Dr. Michelle Posage come on as an extra bonus call and she is a veterinary behaviorist. She talked all, all about medication. She talked about aggression. She talked about, she was really good at explaining how your dog is sort of feeling and why certain things are happening. And people were able to ask specific questions and, you know, she can't prescribe or say, yes, your dog should be on medication. Uh, but as a veterinary behavior, she sees a lot of aggression. And I have not asked her yet if she'll be a bonus, um, but I'm just telling you that last time we had her as a bonus, it was awesome. And once this course gets going, I'll probably reach out to her in a, and uh, see if she's got some time to do that as well. So it's an awesome group. It's an awesome group of people. There is really no better time now <laughs> with um, people having to shelter in place and work from home. And now you may be spending 24 seven with your dog. Maybe that's great. Maybe that's more frustrating. Maybe that's going to highlight, boy, I better do something about this right now. And, you know, I'd ask all of you, like, what is the cost or what is the risk of not doing this right now? You've been waiting. A lot of you have tried other trainers. You've tried aversive methods. You've looked at you know, videos and YouTube and you've read the books and you've done a lot of the things. And now I really, you know, let's do it. Let's do this now and see, um, make some changes in your, you and your dog and help you get the dream dog that you've always wanted. So guys, if there's any questions, uh, feel free. Gio, can you sit? Sit please. Gio, sit. He's like a kid. No chairs. Gio. You're being a little pushy. Sit. Thank you. Um, so I didn't bring any cheese in today. So he's a little out of sorts. What is happening? Thinks if he licks my hands, it'll magically produce something. All, all of us have obnoxious dogs. <laughs> we were not out for our walk yesterday and we're going out after this today. All right, you guys, any questions at all? You can post them in the group. You cannot get on my lap. Um, you can post them in the group. I am going to be on later today looking at the video. I think Kay posted some great videos of her two dogs. I love that. Um, we are still here to answer your questions. I cannot give you specific training and behavior plans in a Facebook pop-up format or via a free class. My goal has always been to give you a lot of overreaching information so that you can use some of this information at home. And there's a lot of information that you can use. Um, there is no cookie cutter recipe to fix your particular dog's um, issues, which is why the course is nine modules, right? We've, there's a lot of information, a lot more deeper dive that we have to suss out and um, take a look at before we get it. Ask some questions and I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend, but I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, but I'll be back tomorrow. Take care, you guys.